Hello and welcome, I'm your Code Monkey, and last week I made a video doing a quick recap of Unity's GDC Roadmap Tonk, which covered what is coming to the engine in the near future. The response to the roadmap was somewhat mixed, some positive comments, some negative, or just some disappointing comments. So in this video, let me tell you my thoughts on this topic and ask you what do you want to see from Unity. One thing that is very clear to me in all of the events that Unity has invited me to, and also they've emphasized in the beginning of the roadmap, is how they're always looking for feedback. So make sure you write a comment with whatever you want them to do. I'm sure someone from Unity won't be reading the comments in this video. And also before I share my comments on whether the roadmap is disappointing or not, let me quickly talk about what many people mentioned, which is a direct comparison with Unreal's presentation. Now on that topic, I'm really going to say the same thing that I've always said. Personally, I have never had any interest in the game engine wars. Thankfully, we live in a time where we are very much spoiled for choice as game developers. All the engines are great nowadays. Unity is great, Unreal is great, Godot is great. There's really no wrong answer, so pick whatever you want. Personally, I use Unity because it's what I started with, and I stick with it because I have yet to find a game idea that I could not produce with Unity, so until that happens, I really have no need or desire to change to a different engine. But that does not mean that I have a negative view of Unreal or anything. I love what Unreal is doing, and I definitely hope they keep building some awesome stuff. Again, all the engines are great, they are really just tools, there are plenty of great games made with both engines, and also plenty of shovelware. The quality of the games that you make is more dependent on your skills as a game developer rather than what engine you use to make it. So I just wanted to mention that right from the start, use whatever engine you want, don't waste your energy getting caught up in meaningless internet wars. With that said, here are my thoughts on Unreal's presentation and whether I feel that Unity is lacking. Basically my conclusion is they are targeted at completely different audiences. Unreal's talk is more like an E3 showcase, more than half of it is dedicated to showing some really awesome looking games being built with the engine. Whereas Unity's talk is very much targeted at developers. It is focused on showing tons of tools in every area where the engine is used. Both are great depending on the target audience and what you expect from it. I think Unreal is excellent at marketing and making the engine seem really exciting. Watching their presentations is always great fun, so I very much enjoy them as a viewer. However, as a developer, as a solo in developer who makes primarily 2D or low poly 3D games, for me, those exciting features, while they look great in a showcase, I don't really have much use for them in my day-to-day -day work. For example, Nanite, which several people mentioned in the comments, I agree that it's extremely impressive tech. Being able to just load a super high poly mesh directly in your game is a great thing. I imagine that saves tons of time in big studios or in movie production, but personally, I use low poly 3D meshes. I don't really have an army of artists working for me building some super high poly meshes with tons of maps. So for me, I love looking at the Nanite demos. I'm always amazed at how good it looks, but I have no use for it in my actual games. Another big one that people always mention is MetaHuman. Again, I agree, it's extremely impressive. Extremely realistic humans that look very excellent. And the face animation tech they showcase is definitely beyond excellent. Just with a phone, you can get some high quality facial animation. This is the kind of thing that previously would have taken months and hundreds of thousands of dollars, so this is definitely an excellent tool. But again, for me personally, the types of games that I make do not require this kind of super high fidelity facial capture, so I have no use for it as a developer. One thing that I absolutely do wish that Unity had is something similar to Lumen. This is Unreal's global illumination system. It allows you to lit any scene with some really accurate, really gorgeous looking lighting. I believe they've only shown it being used in some realistic scenes, but I'm sure it also looks great in some more stylized scenes as well. Unity is currently working on a global illumination tool. It is based on their Adaptive Pro's volume, although they only very, very briefly mentioned it on their roadmap and there's no timeline. So that is definitely one tool that Unreal has that I wish Unity had that would be useful to me as a solo indie dev. And the procedural tool they showcased also seems very interesting, although again makes me wonder would that work with a more stylized art style or not. Looking at the parameters in the video, they seem very specific to this hyper-realistic style. Some parameters are called trees, fallen trees, embankments, and plants. And while I kinda wish Unity had a built-in tool to do something like this, I know there are plenty of tools on the asset store that do it exactly. So basically, Unreal's talk was all really flashy, which is excellent for getting people excited. Over half of their talk was dedicated to showcasing some awesome, gorgeous-looking games that are being built with the engine, so it's almost like an E3 games showcase rather than a roadmap talk, whereas Unity's was much more reserved, much less flashy, and much more focused on being targeted towards developers rather than gamers, which personally, that is the kind of presentation that I prefer for a roadmap talk. So, as a viewer wanting to watch something fun, I very much enjoyed Unreal's presentation, but as a developer looking for what tools I can actually use in my games, I much prefer Unity's talk. 
I've already used the recently released Netco 4 game objects to make a nice multiplayer game, and I definitely want to explore it some more. I'm very much looking forward to their user-generated content tool. I truly think this one will be an excellent tool that will be very useful to many developers. Their upcoming friends tool also seems very useful, as is pretty much everything in the entire UGS tool stack. And I'm obviously very much looking forward to DOTS and experimenting with some games on a completely different scale. So based on this, my question to the people who post about those in real tools like Nanite, my question is, do you actually have a use case for it? Do you actually have a team of artists behind you to build the assets to really take advantage of that tool? Or do you just want it just because it's a shiny new thing? That's a genuine question. I assume that most of the audience on this channel are small or solo indie devs just like me. So for most people watching this, I don't think there is a use case for these tools, but I could be wrong, so let me know. Also, some people seem to be disappointed that Unity didn't showcase too much, but personally, I don't get disappointed with that because I understand why they do it. Previously, everyone was angry at them because they were very quick to announce things, which would then take years to come to fruition. The obvious example is Dots, which was announced all the way back in 2018 and is only now in 2023 finally reaching 1.0. So they took that feedback to heart, and nowadays they only showcase things that are either already out or only a few months away. That means there aren't many flashy new announcements in these roadmaps, but it also means there's less people constantly complaining that the engine is permanently in preview. Personally, I would like to see some more interesting things, even if they are very far out, but I fully understand why they no longer do it. So all in all, I'm very happy with the current state of Unity and the small incremental improvements that happen month after month, so I was happy with what I saw with the roadmap talk. I can already build any game that I can imagine, so even if the engine suddenly stopped getting new features and updates, I would still be happy. I remember back in 2012 when I wanted to transition from Flash to making PC games. Back then, when I was looking for what game engine to use, I only had two requirements. One, can I draw something on screen? And two, can I apply some logic to it? Those were really my only requirements. I knew that as long as I could do those two things, then I could build anything. But that's really just my opinion. I know some people want an engine to have tons and tons of built-in tools. So my question to you is what do you want Unity to do? If you are disappointed with the roadmap, what would you want it to contain? What tools and features would be helpful to you in the game that you are building right now? Like I said, in my experience, Unity is always generally looking for feedback, so I'm sure someone will be reading your comments. Alright, hope that's useful, check out these videos to learn some more. Thanks to these awesome Patreon supporters for making these videos possible. Thank you for watching and I'll see you next time.